Alright guys, let's start the teardown of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. First, before we begin, let's remove the SIM tray. Alright, now we're going to want to heat the back up so we can loosen up the adhesive. And once we have the back heated, we're going to use a plastic pry tool to work our way around the back and pry it off. Now let's get this back off. Alright, let's go ahead and remove the S Pen as well. At this point, there are 14 Phillips screws that need to be removed. Now go ahead and lift up this metal bracket over here that's attached to the wireless charging pad. And you can see the cable for the battery connector right there. Go ahead and pop that up. And disconnect it. Now once you have that disconnected, go ahead and disconnect the cable for the wireless charging pad right next to it. And then you're going to just lift up and pry off the pad right here. Now let's go ahead and remove the top plastic cover. And let's also remove the bottom plastic cover as well. That houses the speaker assembly. So here's the plastic piece that goes on top. So these lines that you see over here drawn out, they're gonna be the Wi-Fi and cell antennas. You also have some connectors down here. And here's the speaker assembly. Same thing with this, you have some antennas right here running through it. So you'll notice if ever these two plastic pieces you haven't screwed down firmly, and they're not making a good connection, or if you haven't even put them on at all, you'll have poor cell and Wi-Fi signal. So if you're ever planning on doing a screen replacement on the Note 10, you have the cable right here that attaches the main board, which leads to the screen. So basically, you just have to remove the top plastic and the bottom plastic, disconnect the battery cable, also remove the wireless charging pad, and then you'll be able to just disconnect the cable, heat up the screen from the front and pry it off the frame, and then apply your new screen with new adhesive and just reverse the whole process so you don't really have to take out the main board or the charger port or anything like that. Let's go ahead and disconnect the cable for the screen. Let's also disconnect this cable over here which connects the main board to the board down here for the charger port. We got one more cable to remove that runs from the top to bottom. All right, so in order to remove the housing for the S Pen right here, we have to disconnect the cable that's attached to the board. And then go ahead and pry the plastic piece off. So basically when the S Pen is inside the housing, this sensor over here detects it when it slides in. So the phone knows when the S Pen has been removed or when it's in the enclosure. Let's remove the front facing camera. So here's the front facing camera. Now we're gonna disconnect the cables over here on the side. Now at this point we can lift up and remove the main board. Alright, so here's the main board, and here's your thermal pad down here. If you need to remove the cameras, the connectors are right here. Just pop them off. And your SIM reader is right here. Here's a closer look at the front. Now the main board seems to have like three layers. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, if it's for the memory modules or what, but... Now here's the earpiece speaker right over here. Let's remove that. As you can see, the sound travels down through here and gets dispersed and there's a hole on top over here that comes out as well. And now down here, you can see the vapor chamber. So this copper piece right here is the vapor chamber. So the thermal pad on the back of the board just sits on top of this and transfers the heat. Here's a better look at that 3D vapor chamber. Now we have to remove three Phillips screws so we can remove the charger port board. Now once the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the charger port board. 
Over here you have your microphone. And here's the back side. You have a rubber gasket right around it. So at this point you're left with pretty much just the battery, the vibrator motor, and you have your screen assembly that's attached to the frame. And you got your volume and power switch over here. And if you want to gain access to those, there's a metal bracket right over here. You just have to stick a pry tool and just lift up the bracket on both sides and lift that up and then the buttons will fall in. As far as removing and replacing the battery goes, you just have to heat it up and loosen up the adhesive underneath it and try your best to pry it off because there's no pry tabs to help you remove the battery, which is pretty typical of Samsung. All right, so now let's go ahead and reassemble this thing. And you're finally done. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.